Hey guys, Captain Greg here again. I'm really excited because it's summer story time and every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. on Facebook, we're gonna be reading you guys a story. And today, I get to read you a really good book called Josh the Baby Otter. I'm excited to see what happens in this story. How about you guys? All right, let's start. Josh the Baby Otter, a tale promoting water safety for children. All right, so it looks like we're gonna learn about the little baby otter. I wonder what happens. It is a bright sunny morning, the water is sparkling, and a raft of otters are very excited. There is a new baby otter, Josh. Wow, look at him. How many of you guys have seen an otter at like the aquarium or SeaWorld or on TV? I know I have. They're super fast, huh? All right, let's see what happens next. Alex, the otter, swims over to the new baby's mother and says, he's a cute little guy, what's his name? What's his name, guys? Do we remember? All right, I knew you guys would. His name is Josh, says Claire. I like that name. Can he come play with my buddy Austin and me? Asks Alex. It'll be a while because he must first learn to float. This will be good. This will help him become a really good swimmer. Then he'll be able to play with you and Austin. All right, you guys can see him there floating in the water. Really important, you gotta learn how to float and then learn how to swim before you just go play in the water, right? Super important lesson, huh? I know I've been teaching my kids that at home. All right, let's see what happens next. I bet he learns how to swim. Everyone should learn to float, says Josh's mother. Why, asks Alex. When we get too tired or the waters are too rough to swim, we can roll on our backs, look up at the sky, relax and float. How many of you out there have floated? It's pretty relaxing, huh? A little scary when you first learn, but really fun after you learn how to do it. One of the very first things otters teach their babies is how to float. This keeps them safe in the water. All right, you can see them floating there. Just like you guys, first step is to learn how to float, right? Something you shouldn't be scared of, right? But you gotta get trained and learn how to do it. I don't remember learning to float, says Alex. That is because you were taught at a very young age, says Claire. I see him floating over there. Was it hard for me to learn, says Alex? Actually, you learned quite quickly, and until you learned, you were always with an adult. You practice a lot while being held and supported, says Claire. And you can see the pictures in there. Really important, right? We should always have mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, an adult that's there with you guys, right? Watching you. Even when you learn how to swim, you still want to have somebody there watching out for you. Just to keep me extra safe, right? I know you guys know that, good job. Soon you were floating on your own, but someone was always by your side, just like we talked about. You should never, ever float or swim by yourself. Even when you're a good swimmer, make sure an adult is close by, and you should always swim with a buddy. Austin and I always swim together, answered Alex. Can we be Josh's swimming buddies? That would be very nice. Thank you for asking, replies Claire. You see all of them hanging out together? So that's another important lesson, right? Never, ever, ever, ever swim alone, right? Do we swim alone, guys? No. Okay, good job. Let's see what happens next. Alex hears his mother, Nicole, calling. Alex, come here, it's time for dinner. Can I bring Austin by later to see Josh? Asks Alex. Sure, says Josh's mother. You are always welcome here. And then Alex swims off. See you later, he says. See you later, says Claire. What do you think they're having for dinner? Cheeseburger and fries, mac and cheese. I'm guessing maybe a little fish, maybe, I don't know. Here comes Alex and Austin. Look at them go in the water, isn't that awesome? And what do they have? The buddy system, right? There's two of them, always important, never ever alone. Hi, Claire, says Alex. Hello, boys, says Claire. You are right, Alex. He is a cute little guy, says Austin. Can he play with us, asks Austin. Oh, no, not yet, answers Claire. Josh is finishing his floating lessons. Would you boys like to help me with Josh? You can see him floating right there, getting those lessons in. It's important, practice, 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 right? That would be great, says Alex. I'm getting ready to let Josh float on his own. Can the two of you float by his side and hold his paws? Asks Josh's mother. Sure, says Alex. Austin seems a little scared. It's okay, Austin. 
I will be right here with the three of you the whole time, assures Claire. How many of you have practiced floating out there? It could be a little scary at first, right? But you always got mom or dad right there, or somebody else there helping you, teaching you, that is there to make sure you're safe, right? That's the take home from this. Claire slowly floats away from Josh while Alex and Austin hold his paws so he won't float away. Yeah, says Alex, he's floating by himself, yells Austin. Now that he is floating, he can start learning to swim, says Claire. Would you boys like to help me with his swimming lessons too? Oh yes, they say excitedly. Look at all three of them floating right there. Isn't that cool? Looks like they're having a lot of fun, huh? Okay, question for you. Now that he knows how to float, what does he learn next? Hmm. Cannonballs? Diving into the pool? Swimming. You gotta swim first, right? Okay, so I think we're gonna learn how to swim next. We can begin tomorrow. Be here bright and early in the morning and we will get started. Alex and Austin are very excited and swim off to tell their parents. See you in the morning, says Austin. Thanks, Claire, says Alex. You're welcome, boys. See you tomorrow. All right, looks like tomorrow's the big day for the swimming lessons to start. Even though they do not remember learning, Alex and Austin have been reminded how important it is to try new things. Floating is the first thing you should learn if you want to be in the water. With a few lessons and a little time, you too can learn to float like Josh. Remember to always stay away from water unless you're with an adult. We all want you to be safe, just like Josh. And look what it does say right there. Float early, float first, float for life, okay? So what did we learn, guys? What, what are some important lessons? What can you think of? I'll, I think of a couple that I come to mind from reading all about Josh's adventure and learning how to float and swim. So first, never be by the water alone, right? You always need to make sure that you have an adult with you. Mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, always an adult, right? And then what's the first thing we learn how to do in the water? Is it the cannibals? No, is it jumping off the diving board? No, what about going down the slide? That's, oh, I love going down the slide. But what we gotta do first, learn how to float. And then what comes after floating? This is the important question. Swimming, then we learn how to swim. And should we be scared to learn? No, it's fun. Sometimes the water, you can seem scary, but it's a lot of fun once you're water safe. And that's what we want you guys to be. So ask mom or dad to help you learn how to float and then swim, okay? All right, guys, looking forward to seeing you next time on Tuesdays and Thursdays at uh, 10 a.m. for our summer story time, okay?